Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to be cutting a little baby frock for baby Sarah. It's going to be a full circle, uh, two circles cut in half and joined together. And it's going to be very, very frilly. The top layer of the uh, dress is going to be in net and it's going to be lined in this fabric. Now what I'm going to do is I'll give you the measurements. Uh, Sarah is one year old, but she's quite petite. Okay, so the full width, of, full length of this circle is 30 inches. Okay, and it's 30 inches, uh, you know, this has been folded in half, so 15 inches from there and 30 inches full in there. And then at that, I've marked this at 12 inches, left uh, a space of six and a half inches, and then we've got another 12 inches there. So basically 12 and 12 is 24 and the whole total of this was 36 so there's six inches just a little bit over six inches in there and again you'd mark exactly the same on that side just slightly over three inches and then make sure that you know the circle on the inside this semicircle is exactly the same and make sure that the whole of the width on the outside is exactly the same so before you mark this circle out mark the outer side one out and if the center of this is 15 inches, then make sure, place the ruler on there and make sure you're going 15 inches all the way around you know, until you've covered the whole of the circle. And basically that's all there is to it. I've already cut the top portion out, so I'm gonna cut the lining out. And I'm just gonna make a very slight uh, change in the lining. Now, as far as the uh, inner side is concerned, I'm gonna keep that just exactly the same. And then I'm just gonna slightly slightly uh, you know well I'll mark it out and then I'll cut slightly on the inside so I'll mark the whole of the circle out because um, I don't want the lining to overhang okay so move this away and then leave about half an inch and cut half an inch side inside of the marking so that it's just slightly, slightly less than the top layer and it just falls on the inside. So equally, about a quarter of an inch less. I'm just going to take these odd pieces away because they just tend to cling to the material. And we probably make a little churidara of this fabric now here i'm going to split the two so that they're separated two full circles and opened up basically you've got a full circle Just move that fabric up. there we are you've got two full circles okay so how we'll be using this is we'll be separating these and we'll just be using the one circle and we're going to put a slight bit of gathers in this and then the other one is going to be the back of the dress and again we're going to use gathers in this so it's going to be very very freely okay and uh, it's going to be layered in this uh, net exactly the same cut okay now the top of this Again, we'll just put this to a side. Now, the top of this, I've cut it in a white, uh, off-white, off-white Belichi fabric, which is something that I have shown, which I will be making my own dresses out of, my own dress. Ages ago, I made my mum a dress out of this. Now, for this, we need some lining. So, we're just going to get some nice fabric to do lining in. I should have looked for this prior to cutting this out, but never mind. Just bear with me a minute while I go into my hoard of fabrics and get this little bit of a fabric for the lining out. All right, let's have a look if this one looks right. Okay, we just use this. Now, the only thing with the Pelechi or this velvety type of fabric is make sure that the, the pile falls in the same direction. You know, when you feel it, make sure that it's falling in the one direction. 
so this is the back of the dress we're just gonna cut exactly the same and i'll give you the measurements so that if you're copying exactly same to same then you know i'm just gonna make the lining bit just a little bit bigger than okay so what we have is uh, for this i've double folded this so it's cut in two uh, the width of this is six inches and the height of this is uh, approximately eight inches and then under the arm is uh, two and a half inches and this is from the back of the neck which is seven inches and then the top of the shoulder is two and a half inches and it's rounded off and uh, the length of the armhole is about five five and a quarter inches about five inches okay and from the back on the top of the shoulder is approximately four inches uh, from here so that's the these two are the back and then we're gonna have the front now i'm a little bit undecided on whether to put sleeves on this um it will look nicer without sleeves but looking at the fact that it's going to be quite cold and then if she has a sleeveless dress she's going to have to wear something on top i feel tempted to put sleeves on it um if we're looking at beauty wise it always looks nicer when it's sleeveless but what has to override it is the fact that comfort falls before comfort falls before um, beauty so what i will do is i will put these white thingy sleeves on it because i don't want her to feel like totally bare and then feel cold now that's not enough so again when you're cutting the sleeves make sure to cut one sleeve at a time i'm not going to line the sleeves i'm just going to do She's probably about 12 inches in length with the sleeve. On the sleeve same direction so that we don't get the pile of the fabric falling in opposites Let's just give you an outlook of the dress. So basically what we're going to have is the front lined in this white fabric. And then we've got pieces one for the front and one for the back and we've got the neck overlaying this and a few gathers going in this like such which is gonna go like that and then I've got this beautiful lace that again I bought on the wish app and it's absolutely gorgeous this lace and I will be adding that to the waistline and I will also make her a little headpiece to go from this and inshallah that's going to be beautiful little dress for Sarah 
we'll make a little, little pyjama out of um, the sleeves are all going to be in the white and I'll try and fit them so that they're nice and tight fitting maybe put just a little bit of an elastic there just to give it a nice um, tight fitting but you know when they're overly tight they're hard to get on children so I don't want to risk uh, causing it any discomfort now the other thing is that I bought a yard of this lace if you wanted to make this style of dress and if the weather permitting is nice and hot then get extra lace and put it around the shoulders as well and this will get give such a beautiful flower girl a type of a look um, I haven't got enough lace I've just about got it no I bought a yard and it was three pounds a yard uh, and I think I paid a pound for delivery so it's cost me four pounds the only thing is that there isn't enough I only ordered a yard and I haven't got time to order another yard uh, to add otherwise I would have liked to have added it to the um, outside of the sleeves and made this into a proper proper like a little flower girl um, out, outfit um, the other thing that I would like is to add you know uh, because it's normally generally quite hard to turn the edges on because it's a cut on a full round circle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if I can um, use the small machine to like over uh, do the edges and if I can't then I'll try it on a spare piece of fabric and if it's difficult to do then I may need to get some kind of a lace or something to edge this off in at the bottom so anyway that's the dress let's just quickly cut the little pyjama as well then we're over and done with so this is the fabric that I've got left over so what I'll do is right, we'll cut the churidar from this and we'll see where we can get the most benefit from and I think it's probably going to be here okay. so this is the angled fabric that we've got if we turn this over and add it to the top then we can get an adequate churidar on the bias. We can even get it longer, really. I don't really want to make it too long because um, they tend to flop. Okay, that's going to be the churidar. Good job. So that's what the churidar looks like. We're going to take this piece, stitch it there. And then once we've stitched it, we're going to take that small portion away so that it just lengthens the churidar slightly. And the rest is just basic, simple straight seams. Now let's have a look what else do we need. Uh, we have got a little bit of a fabric left over and I am going to make her a little scarf and I'll attach this to the little um, headpiece that I'm going to make so that it's going to look like a little scarf that's stuck to that inshallah and uh, I shall join you with the final result inshallah. <laughs> 